I'm going to read two poems, one very short. First, The Five Stages of Grief. The night I lost you, someone pointed me towards the five stages of grief. Go that way, they said, it's easy, like learning to climb stairs after the amputation. And so I climbed. Denial was first. I sat down at breakfast, carefully setting the table for two. I passed you the toast. You sat there. I passed you the paper. You hid behind it. Anger seemed more familiar. I burned the toast, snatched the paper, and read the headlines myself. But they mentioned your departure. And so I moved on to bargaining. What could I exchange for you? The silence after storms, my typing fingers. Before I could decide, depression came puffing up, a poor relation, its suitcase tied together with string. In the suitcase were bandages for the eyes and bottles of sleep. I slid all the way down the stairs, feeling nothing, and all the time hope flashed on and off in defective neon. Hope was my uncle's middle name. He died of it. After a year, I am still climbing, though my feet slip on your stone face. The tree line has long since disappeared. Green is a color I have forgotten. But now I see what I am climbing towards. Acceptance, written in capital letters, a special headline, acceptance, its name is in lights. I struggle on waving and shouting. Below my whole life spreads its surf, all the landscapes I've ever known or dreamed of. Below a fish jumps, the pulse in your neck, acceptance, I finally reach it, but something is wrong. Grief is a circular staircase. I have lost you. Thank you. Thank you. And the title of this poem is a question I'm often asked after readings, particularly after readings of that poem I just read. <laughs> Why are your poems so dark? <laughs> Isn't the moon dark too, most of the time? And doesn't the white page seem unfinished without the dark stain of alphabets? When God demanded light, he didn't banish darkness. Instead, he invented ebony and crows and that small mole on your left cheekbone. Or did you mean to ask, why are you sad so often? Ask the moon. Ask what it has witnessed. Thank you.